Just decided to do my Admiral Inspector Slayer task and managed to get a shield left half, as you can see. Bottom left hand corner, shield left half, 60k right there, 65k right there. I might out it because it's not really, I've already got one in the bank, so there's no point keeping it. So yeah, on with the Slayer task, hopefully we can get another red drop like that. But if not, just some herbs. A love a battle staff from Aberrant Inspectors. I didn't even know that was a possible drop. But okay. And there is a clue skull drop from Aberrant Inspectors. I've also managed to get another love a battle staff from you guys. So we're going to go do that clue. Finish off the task afterwards. Hopefully we can get another hard casket from Aberrant Inspectors. It's complete. Let's see what we get. Oh, the Explorer's Backpack. Finally a decent unique. Not worth a lot, but still a unique long nonetheless. Have a look, see what that looks like. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. It's a shame it's just a um a cosmetic, but it's quite nice. Okay, three left to kill, and we have another hard clue scroll. I'm gonna complete the task and then do that scroll because I don't think we're gonna get another one in. Nice five step card clue scroll here. Let's see what we get. Give us a decent drop. <laughs> Seriously, never magic short bow. Some people are just that strange. They leave a cannon right next to Steve, aiming at this guy. Yeah, let's get another sales to another task. Please be gargoyles. Cow fights. Honestly, Steve, this is not, not happening. And there is the lumberjack boots. We finally completed the entire lumberjack outfit. Now, I thought I'd do this temple, temple trekking for a little while just to see how well, how easy it was to do. And I'm actually super surprised. I thought it would take a lot longer than this. Probably took me about five attempts to get each of these rooms. All right, so we managed to sell the nail beast nails and the bowstrings. Unfortunately, we didn't get the 10k that they were well worth. But if we click click on collect, we should get oh wow, 700k. That is really good. Let's see how much we actually sold those nail beast nails for. 7.2k each. That is actually really good. Unfortunately, they're not they're not at the price value that um guide was saying but still pretty good profit there 700k chuck that in the bank straight away back up to 800k that is really nice to see <laughs> especially as we're running low on cannonballs as well so we're gonna have to buy some more of those i might spend some time making them while editing videos and stuff but for now i think that'll do yeah now i'm gonna go do my slayer task of cow fights i believe i've got how about our slayer helm and find out yeah i think it's cow fight 173 cow fights to kill Oh, this could take a while. So yeah, I'll see you guys once the task is complete. I'll probably just go kill the regular cow fights because it takes this so much easier. Yeah, see you guys in a mo. Okay, so I've just completed my 49th Slayer task, which was cow fights. Now we're going to go to Steve and grab another task. Fingers crossed he gives us something decent. Elves. That's actually quite an easy one. Go kill them up in the, the foresty area. I can't remember what it's called, but we'll go through that quickly. I'll see you once that's done. Well, I just so happened to miss the defense level, but there is 78 defense. Didn't get a combat level, unfortunately. And we've only got five more of these things left to kill. So hopefully we can get a clue scroll before, they are, before we run out of kills. Hopefully, fingers crossed, but we'll have to see. Oh, just missed it. But there is the final kill of the Slayer task. 180 points, which is really nice for us. Um, yeah, 400 total points. And seriously, I'm trying to run away from you. Stop all over retaliating. All right, so teleport. Okay, get out of here. But yeah, 50 tasks complete. Now on to the next 50. And there is the brand new free to play quest complete. The course has curse. I don't really get anything apart from access to the arena, the area. Um, I don't think I'm going to spend a lot of time here because I don't think there is a lot on this island. It's not really an island, is it? Probably the best thing is the bank and how close it is to the hunter arena. We can literally just get through here quite quickly. Um, yeah, it's probably the best thing about all this, and you've got this thing over here, which I think is the Dragon Slayer quest, which I do need to do eventually, but I've heard it's quite a difficult one, so we'll probably do that last. So yeah, get on to the next couple quests, see once they're done. And there is another quest complete, 4k cash, 1.5k agility, a favour certificate, which I think we could use, oh, is it only in her city? We'll see. And a mem... A memoir page okay and there is another quest complete and we've also unlocked the another page for our book we're just gonna chuck okay stop doing that <laughs> we're just gonna put that straight in the book and now that will teleport us to another location and we're gonna read this Piscarillus thing it gives us 10 percent extra which is good because i need Piscarillus, as you could see <clears throat> 
But yeah, next quest. Uh, I think it's a Shazy, uh, Lover, uh, no, Shazy in one. So I'm going to try and do that quickly. 2k cash, nice. But yeah, hopefully this quest won't take that long. There we go. Another quest complete. Another page for our book. And hopefully... Leave me alone. There we go. So just going to chuck that in there. Read this. 10% say Shazy in favour. Not that I need it. There we go. 100% flavour. Like we already had that. Do really need to get these other two up because the Piscarillius one will help with fishing. And the Lovacan one will help because we get access to the minecarts and things like that. But yeah, another 8k cash. Next quest I want to do is the a taste, either the Taste of Hope quest or Bone Voyage. I think I'll do the Bone Voyage one, but I need to get the Museum Kudos. Which could, just, could take me a while, so I'll probably do that now. And hopefully... Yeah, hopefully that won't take too long. All right, back to Steve. Going to try and get a Slayer task. Was going to do some more quests, but I thought Slayer is definitely the way to go for this video. Skeletal Wyverns. Ooh, lovely. Going to get some nice drops from them, hopefully. Get a Visage, you know. Let's go get that task done. All right, that's the Wyvern task complete. I think I'm going to stay here until I've run out of raw bolts. Get a few... Ooh, sugar. I'm going to have to head downstairs, though. That's the problem. So yeah, we're probably going to stay at the Wyverns for a good couple more kills. Probably going to run out of bolts. And then, fingers crossed, get a few more drops. Because I've already made, like, all this cash. So, fingers crossed, like I say, we can get some more stuff. I'm going to head over here, see if there's anyone in this area. Just missed it, but there is 78 range. We've still got tons of bolts to go. So, could be here for a very long time. Which I'm, I'm kind of glad about. Because it's a nice little AFK thing I can do. I'll make a lot of money from it as well. And I've got someone that wants to buy two prayer pots from me. So yeah. See you guys once I complete killing these or get another level. Probably won't get another level. Probably get a hit point level actually. But yeah. I'll see you guys in a little while. Alright, so I managed to complete the Wyvern trip. Um, I'm going to leave on the screen a screenshot of all of the loot that we got. It's quite a decent amount of loot. About 1 point something, 1.1 mil, mil cash, something like that in total if I was to sell it all but I'm just gonna keep most of it in my bank for now and hopefully sell it all at one go once I've got like 90 Slayer or something that's one of my goals just to save up all my Slayer items still I've got like a milestone I'll probably do it in the next milestone 80 but for now we're gonna jump into Steve and get jump into Steve what the hell we're gonna jump to Steve and get another task fire giants nice and easy one I'm gonna go grab our stuff but yeah the, the wyvern grind was actually quite nice Nice little AFK task that we could do. Probably every time we get a task, we'll probably do something similar. Just spend a lot of time there and hopefully get some decent drops because they're quite AFK like I was on, like I was doing. and I was literally just clicking one of the wyverns every now and then just to make sure I was attacking it. And then I was off watching videos or Netflix or something like that. So yeah, quite a nice easy task to do. And yeah, now off to Fire Giants where I'm probably actually going to go for... I, might, I don't know if I should do a ranged nat or do it in the combat gear because it's a lot quicker. Just missed it, but there is our 82 hit points and 100 combat, finally. So we can now start doing t a Slayer task from Doradel. Probably not going to do it until my every 10 tasks is probably the best thing to do. But yeah, there's a nice little achievement. 100 combat, really nice. Next steps are to get my defense and attack up to 80, and then I'll be quite happy. And I'm going to try and get myself a whip pretty soon. Hopefully we can get that in the near future. If not, I'm going to be really upset. Um, but yeah, nice little milestone there. 200k to my next hit points level, which is going to take a long time. Uh, only 140k, 114k to my next uh, defense level, so that's not too bad. And there is another Slayer task complete. Nice and easy fire giant task. It did that take me about half an hour to an hour. So not bad task. I'm going to quickly run out to the cave, get another task from Steve. Uh, Steve. Fingers crossed it's going to be a good one. I really don't want to deal with any more bad tasks. I really want to get a Bloodfield task, but they don't seem to give them to me at the moment. Skeletal Wyverns again? Oh my god. Steve, we love you. <laughs> I'm going to buy some more um, broad bolts as well, because we need some. Mm. Alright, I'm going to have to buy some unfinished packs. Alright, All right, so I was going to make myself a bunch of broad bolts, but I realised I didn't have the broader fletching. So, I think I'm going to have to buy this to be able to do it. I believe this is the right one. Um, yeah, I think that's the only one that's on there that I could see. So, I think we're going to have to buy that, unfortunately. 
Yeah, broad bolts, broad bolts. There we go. 125 points left, and but now we can actually start doing this and get ourselves a bunch of XP. Uh, there is 81 fletching from making these broad bolts. As you can see, we're nowhere near finished yet. We've still got another 1,000 bolts to make, 1,500 bolts to make. But yeah, nice little fletching experience. I'm just literally standing here at the bank waiting to do these bolts. I know we could probably go do some... Oh, rune darts, nice. I know we could probably go kill them with these, but I want to finish off all this before I go. Uh, Wyverns is quite a nice AFK task, so yeah, I kind of look forward to it. And plus, I can join the... Uh, clan chat cc which i did yesterday and they were really helpful they gave me free worlds and stuff made it a lot easier to kill these things all right there is the wyvern task complete didn't actually take that long unlike the last one we didn't actually get a lot um as i've got to go to work soon i might stay here for another 20 minutes and kill the ones downstairs as this guy's the only one that seems to be here right now so i believe i can just get away with this yes there we go sweet so yeah, I'm just going to kill these guys for a little while. Hopefully get some nice nice loot from them. And yeah, I'll see you if I do get any drops. I would love to get a visage from these. Never had one in the lifetime of playing RuneScape. So hopefully, fingers crossed, we can get one here at these Wyverns. I know this is very AFK, so I probably won't even notice it before I go. So yeah, I'll see you guys once this task is on. Well, the task is done, but yeah. I'll see if we get any drops or on our next layer grind, which will be after work. Right, just going to get ourselves our final Slayer task for the video. Come on, Steve. Give us a nice one. Hellhounds. That's actually not too bad. could do it in the uh, cave right here, or we could do it in the Grand Corrend. But yeah, that's going to be the end of the video. Um, hopefully you guys have enjoyed. I know it's not been too hectic or anything good happening so far. Really just focusing on trying to get ourselves a Gargoyle Slayer task. Um, hopefully in the next video we will get one. But if not, I'm just going to be sad forever. Um... If you could let me know if you've enjoyed this video by leaving a like down below. Now I know I've been switching up my mic. My mic sounds different in like almost every clip. It's because I've been moving stuff around and changing my audio settings. Right now I've actually think I think I've found where I want to keep my mic and what settings I want to do. If you do agree, let me know by leaving a like, uh, leaving it in the comments down below. That'd be really appreciated. And yeah, <clears throat> I will see you at the end of this uh, Slayer task in the next video. Fingers crossed we can get a Smoldering Stone. That would be quite awesome if we can. I, know they're only, I think they're only worth about 200k though, so we won't uh, hold ourselves to that. Let's just have a quick look. Smoldering Stone. Oh no, 1.5 mil. Never mind. Ignore me. Um, but yeah, like I said, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next one.